fine. We've been effectively using sponges in several forms to add color and create backgrounds for our handmade greeting cards. We've got sponges, sponge daubers, and even sponge brayers. But recently, one of my sweet stampers told me about a new tool. So today, we're going to explore to see if you will like coloring with ink blending brushes better. You'll get a kick out of this. The name of the blending brushes we'll be using today are life changing. How do you not try something like that? I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 18 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So we're going to create a background with the life changing blending brushes, and then I'll show you my handmade greeting card with the sweet silhouettes dies. As I said in my opening, we've been effectively using the sponge applicator tools for adding color to our handmade cards and creating backgrounds. And so you start with a big stamping sponge and then we cut it into quarters so we have something easier to control. And this is great for the edge of a card, especially if you want to feather in. And we can go in and sponge in different areas. Okay. And when it comes to the sponge daubers, well, one thing is you can do dots. I don't tend to, I don't know I've ever done that, but the idea is you could. But the, what's nice about this is, unlike a sponge where you get this all pinched together and rub it across your ink pad, I get ink all over my fingers. Yeah, that's okay. You know, it'll wash off. But with these, this protects your finger and you have a, a very much controlled if you want to sponge around, right? Okay, and then you have the sponge brayers and really like these, like this a lot better than a rubber brayer. And um, let's go ahead and I'll open up. Here we have a classic stamping pad and I'm using all dye based inks, the Daffodil Delight. So we'll open it up and slide that in. So with these, we would roll it across and then we'd start adding our color. Well, with this, it will be straight lines. I mean, you could do some curving around, but um, you know, you're, you're with straight lines. And what attracted me to these, here we have these life changing, that's the name of them, blending brushes by Picket Fence. And I'll have a link under the video in case you think these are of interest to you, um, was that I could do more than just straight across. I mean, you still could with these, but it was being able to fill in different areas. And these come in several different sizes. Uh, but if they're life changing, I thought, okay, let's have a look. So we're going to create a background with these and we'll start here. I want to get some paper underneath me because I will be going off the edge and we'll do what I call, we call loading up. Whoops. Hang on to this and get color on here. Now, um, you need a light touch. Because you still can, just like with a stamping sponge, get, if you press too hard right away, get a circle. You can get that oval. So we'll start with the light touch and add color. Now I did a lot of playing yesterday. By far not an expert at all, but I did a lot of playing. And what is nice is how you can control. I mean, Death of the Delight is one of the Stampin' Up! Brights colors but you could have it nice and pastel or just keep adding and get it deeper and deeper and deeper. And I want a very vibrant background. So that's what we're going to create today and see what we think of these life changing. What a brilliant marketing name, huh? Life changing. <laughs> All right. So we're creating a vibrant, vibrant sky for our silhouette tree. Okay, what was interesting about these, I'll go ahead and push, pull on that and click, was that you can, for the stamping for what you're doing right now, okay, that's my clean one, I have two, is on the Simply Chamois. And so here it is. It started off a really lovely purple and then quickly it gets very dirty, so not attractive, but clean it off on here so I can keep going. So after I did a lot of, of stamping, I did follow the instructions and wash them out with um, a mild detergent and water and let them air dry. Okay, let's see. See, isn't that cool? But they did get really loaded up. So my next color 
I'm going to do some smoky slate. Here we go. And, uh, and this would be a little bit more difficult to do with a sponge. At this point, I could do this. I mean, this is all possible with the sponge. So um, one thing we want to look at is the ability of the, the actual blending. Okay, let me... And I'm going to show you when we're done something else I did. One with these life-changing brushes and the other one with stamping sponges and um, see what you think and stamping sponges are certainly a lot less expensive the perk with these let me really load that up I'm not wanting this terribly dark just adding a little bit around okay and then we're done with that so that's smoky slate and then to our balmy blue. Okay, so my idea is, I want a clean one, might as well. Load this up. Is the sun radiating around this beautiful sky? It's like we would with a brayer. We'll go off the edge so we don't end up with it just loaded up at the edge. But a light touch was really important because, and I did that here, I see, still learning that, ending up with ovals. That's not the idea. Maybe at first don't have our finger on it to press down to create those ovals. But let's go around our sun. And because you can so much easier, I think, apply a light touch than with stamping sponges, um, we can get a really soft look, but we just keep adding and get it more and more vibrant. And I want to blend our smoky slate in with the balmy blue. There we go. We're getting there now. I don't know if I need quite that much smoky slate, but as the two colors blend together, my blue with the gray will be a lighter version that comes out. And um, the balmy blue is one of the, the subtles colors, a pastel, so it's not real deep. We want to get that a little bit deeper, so put our thumb there. Let's come out here a little bit more. Okay. So it all really comes together with our fourth and last color. Oh, I'm liking that, though. All right. So let's go ahead and close that. We could always come back and add more. And before going into our last color, let's go ahead again with our Simply Chamois and clean this off. So it was really nice that we could keep moving like this because once I did wash them, and even though I, um, let's see what we have. Look, that's nice. But once I did wash them and I took paper towels and squeezed them, they were just wet. I just w had to wait to do them so it's nice that we can play and I did for quite a few hours with by cleaning them off on the Simply Chamois. All right and we use the Simply Chamois with the um, photopolymer stamps and it cleans them really well. So Blueberry Bushel one of the 2018-2020 in colors and this is one of my um, in color combinations for my ebook the Daffodil Delight, uh, the Balmy Blue and the Blueberry Bushel. I have a link under the video. It's nice because it gives you some a jumping off place when playing with the new colors. Let me do that. I just, okay, and try to purposely have a light touch. I'm so used to sponging that we, I don't know, I, even though I have a light touch with most things when it came to sponging, I was getting a heavy touch. And I'm liking the look of these brush marks. If not, we could go in circles and eliminate those. 
for this. I'm liking it, but we'll be blending. Oh, look at these colors together. Aren't they beautiful? Get some up here. There we go. Just blend all that together. And I'm sure the more I play with these, the better I'll get. You know, I just got them recently and, and just couldn't wait to play. You know, we like playing with new toys. Okay, let's come over here. Fill this side in. That's softer, huh? And then I did something else that I'll show you because I have a tr uh, card I made with that beautiful silhouette tree from the um, Sweet Silhouettes dies in the Silhouette Scenes bundle. Probably don't need to stamp off if I would just use a light touch when coming to my card. A little bit up here. I don't want. There we go. And over here. I want to make sure I have that nice deep blue all the way around. Not solid. You know, we're looking for the blend of colors. Where's the, the sun? It radiates from there. So anyway, just playing, and this one I'm sure will be different than the card I will show you. Because everything is, when it's hand done, right? That's what's so fun. Handmade cards, everyone is unique, even when you're making quite a few of all of them, say uh, your Christmas cards or whatever. Isn't that pretty? Mm -mm -mm. So what I'd like to do is, I've got that sharp point. You see that? I end up going across like that. Not thrilled with that, but I think we've got a good bit of, of the blueberry bushel. Let's clean this and go back in. Let's see if we can do some blending. All right. Let's come back with our daffodil light. I want to check this out, make sure, okay. Get this deeper. Look how deep that is. Mm. Very nice. Let's see what we can do to get rid of that sharp edge. Although once I put the, the tree on it, to be honest, I don't know that it would be that obvious. But it is awful fun playing. Okay. And get some more of our balmy blue. Get this more circular. Oh, that's going to blend in beautifully with all that blueberry bushel now. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay, come over here. There we go. Don't have that blending out that harsh straight line on that angle. Oh yeah, much, much better. Still preserving a little bit of that smoky slate. So there we go. Let's, oh, that is just so much fun. I think that is a lot, a lot of fun. And so, okay, so what I'm excited to show you is, here's the tree, and uh, I thought, ooh, isn't that pretty? And so do we do the traditional black, but the white really pops out, or should we do a dark brown? But then I kept playing, and this is where it was fun. So I wanted to be able to show you a comparison, 
And so this I did with stamping sponges, the quarter sponges, adding color, you know, in different areas. So you could see the difference if you thought it was, and again, I'm a novice with these blending brushes, and then this one. And uh, for what we're about to use it for, this one would be okay. But if I were using it for a background, I do like how I was able to make it blend more. You know, I, I tried really hard to do the same thing here with that. So I am more pleased with this for something like this. Okay, if that makes sense. If I were going to put my tree on here, which I wouldn't, but if I were going to put my tree on that, I prefer that over this because those all blended in together much better using the same amount of effort. I really tried to get that to look like this. Okay, so, but instead of just going ahead and putting this on my card in white, which is awful pretty, it's fall and the trees here in northern Michigan are so vibrant and gorgeous. I thought, wait a minute, I die cut, and here it is, let me show you the dies. These are the Sweet Silhouette dies. So I use this to die cut. And here, I put my dye on there to get my brown where I wanted it. And that was a smoky, or I'm sorry, um, soft suede. And I'll have a link to my blog post with the finished card and all the supplies. And the supplies are, you know, under the video too. And dye cut that. And I thought, I wonder how that will come out. Oh, let me show you. This also coordinates with the Silhouette Scenes dyes. So when you order these two together, you'll save 10% on both. Very, very nice. Okay, so we'll die cut this and add it to the sky we just created. And didn't that turn out fantastic? And this awesome at any age, well, that is from the Itty Bitty Birthdays stamp set. Okay, and there you go. So now we've you know played with the life-changing blending brushes to see if you think you might like coloring with them too and adding them to because each thing has its own purpose. You know, these are inexpensive and, and easy to use. Everything has its own purpose and it's just another tool to add to our stamping supplies. All the supplies to make my Sweet Silhouettes card are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And if you'd like more of my stamping tips, well, I invite you to subscribe to the Stampers Insider. It's your free stamping source for inspiration, information, and ideas. Just go now to www.thestampersinsider.com to subscribe. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.